Well, today we are somewhere I've never actually taken you before, and I haven't been here for a while. So, stay tuned and see what it's like. Well, I should be selling my 4x4, semi-reluctantly, in the next few weeks, because I've bought myself an ordinary car, because I rarely go off-road. Before I actually got rid of it, I'd do a little bit of off-roading, and... Uh, I've been driving around for about half an hour now and finally found myself in the Barranco that goes to Eskinzo Beach. I haven't been here for ages and it's certainly worn away a bit more since the last time I was here. Give it a look. It, uh, this fills with water when it rains. And there's this old water thingy here. I don't really know see it. Yep, there we go. I don't think I'd want to drink that, but I guess they perhaps used to, years ago. Well, we haven't had much rain in the last week or month or so, but there's still standing water here. This goes all the way down and eventually ends up at Eskinzo Beach. So we'll carry on. That wasn't what I intended today, but hey ho. in 4x4 mode, don't use that very often, not that I really need it on this bit of road. Well, that's out of the way place to live over there, if you like that sort of thing. Certainly not going to have any problems with noisy neighbours. today looking for a spot to uh, do some filming for a talkie video that was out of the wind but uh, the wind is still a bit too strong for that unfortunately <laughs> show you this old farmhouse wherever it is it's, it's incredibly somebody is actually living in it spot on. so I shan't disturb them again We've got the Branco runs all the way over there down to the sea El Cotillo is right over there oh sorry that's El Rocky that's El Cotillo over there Carry on towards the beach. Well, this is just a little bit further along the Branco from that uh, ruin that's been squatted in by a Spanish girl. And this here certainly used to be a goat farm. I don't know whether it's still being used. I remember coming here with some friends and we took some photos. I'll see if I can. Uh, find one of the photos and bring it up now. That's the Barranco, I'll get out and we can have a look. Just 
just have to watch my footing. Wouldn't be the first time I've uh, fallen over doing something like this. Squirrel just disappeared into that hole. Don't think I caught it on camera. There we go, there's the Barenko. And it does get water in it sometimes. pretty calm down there. I should drive down there and do my uh, video in that I came out to do, but I can't be bothered. Well, not much else to show you yet. We'll carry on. Well, it's not much for a trap, this. But in the past, I've even brought hire cars down this bit. As I've often joked, I've taken hire cars here, places I'd be a bit reluctant to take this. There is an easier way to the beach though, along the coast from El Cotillo, but we're not on that bit. Oh, we're nearly at the beach. I guess that van is probably on the cliff overlooking the beach. I wonder if there's any surface today. Well, I can see from here there's quite a few cars. So it looks like there's people on the beach. Well, that's not a bad little spot to uh, camp in your camper van, is it? Take a look. So that's the Barranco we've come down all the way from, well, pretty much over there. Pretty popular with surfers. No doubt there's some special brakes or whatever they call them. As you can tell I'm not a surfer. Park up here, and you just basically come from El Cotillo in that direction for, along the, the track. But it's easily doable on hire cars because, as you can see, most of those are hire cars. Well, do I feel energetic enough to actually go down onto the beach? I don't know. Perhaps I will. It's been a while since I've been on the beach. Yeah, let's do it. Right, that's the car locked up. Now to get to the beach, we've got to go down this track, down there, then climb down a bit and get on this bit of a dune down there. So we'll go and do it. elegant is it well, on the sand for the first time for a while make sure there's no 
nude bathers, bathers in, uh, in sight. Not that I have the slightest problem with it. Being a red-bodied male, I'm all in favour of it. But uh, YouTube does have a problem with it. Normally more sand here, but the winter weather's washed it away. It'll soon come back though. certainly won't be swimming, that's for sure. I'm not even going to paddle. Well, I think that's it. It wasn't the video I came out to make, but it'll have to do. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Well, that was going to be the end of the video. Then I started walking up the beach, and I could see this up the Branco. So I thought I'd come and have a look. Just standing rather like a monolith. It's an old tree. You can see all the woodworm holes, or well, probably been in the sea, some kind of sea worm or whatever. Also been propped up there. A bit of natural sculpture. Right, that really is it. Bye.